Hi guys, welcome back to Will the Beard Reviews. Today we're going to talk about it, finally going to talk about it, Justice League Dark Issue 1, written by James Tinian IV and drawn by Alvaro Martinez Bueno. And this issue is muy bueno. Um, so you guys out there have been telling me that Justice League Dark is a great book on the What's on Your Pull List videos. I always ask what's on y'all's pull list when I talk about what's on mine. And a lot of you have told me Justice League Dark is good. I've even had someone ask me if I was going to review this series. I'm sorry it has taken me forever to get here. I've had this issue for a couple of weeks now. I've just been busy, haven't gotten to it. But I finally got to read it last night. And damn, this book is good. And I didn't realize it was written by Tinian. I love Tinian. He is, uh, he was what brought me, one of the people that brought me back into comics. What is his writing on Detective paired with uh, Tom King's writing on Batman. Those are the two, one of the two major things that brought me back into comics. And ever since he left um, Detective, it's been, it was crap until Peter Tomasi jumped on. So I am excited to be reading a book by uh Tinian again, and even when he writes, uh, like, guests or, like, helps out in the main Justice League book, I feel like he balances out Scott Snyder, and it, it, those books are always, it, those issues are always fantastic when he reads them, or when he writes them. They're fantastic when I read them. Um, so, this issue starts out with Zatanna, who's a character that I do not read enough. I'm glad she's in this one. She's doing a trick, trying to pull a rabbit out of a hat, but Bunny's not looking so good. Uh, so there's some... <laughs> There's some blood dripping off the ears, and Bunny's not doing so hot. The hat itself, uh, like, leaks out this massive monster, starts attacking the crowd. Wonder Woman shows up. She's, uh, she loved, I love the quip. It says, uh, I believe this is why most magicians have assistants, and you can just tell that that is Tinian's writing right there. There's a big, uh, fight where they, nothing they do is, seems to, to, um, to help uh, until Zatanna finally just lights the hat on fire and that takes care of it. And so, um, uh, while they're fighting, Wonder Woman is, just keeps asking Zatanna, it's like, I'm putting together a team, magic is broken, magic is doing bad things, I need your help, I need, you know, the Justice League's magician on, on this team, and she keeps saying, she keeps saying, no, I'm not going to do this, you know. Um, then we get this... Uh, scene here outside of a house where a lot of the DC's universe, DC Universe's magicians are showing up. You got Morgana, you got uh, Clarion there with Teekle, and Zatanna is standing outside. And who shows up but one Mr. John Constantine, looking a little more dapper than usual. No, uh, no loose tie. He's got a black coat on, looking all right for himself. Um, and then he basically says. Um, your magic's got haywire like all others, another backwards word, and no telling what horror awaits. Uh, all, all you have are your wits and your will, and it's time to decide where you stand. It's like, are you going to help out? Whose team are you going to help out with? Um, good stuff. Um, and John kind of d- says this piece and then walks away. And then we go to Wonder Woman sitting in the Oblivion Bar with uh, Bobo, the detective chimp. I love this this picture right here. It's great. You can just kind of feel the despair coming off of Wonder Woman just sitting at an empty bar with with a monkey. <laughs> I, I love it. It's good stuff. Um, then they start talking, and he gives his story. Um, and then she's talking about um, magic's become... Uh, ever since the battle with the Omega Titans, which was in No Justice, uh, or Just League No Justice, it was a four-part miniseries that kind of split off all of these three different um, Justice League issue, or series as we have, Just League Dark, regular Justice League, and then Just League Odyssey, um, which is the first issue that was also really good. I got issue two, I'm going to review for that one as well. Uh, Magic's gone haywire since that tree in Salem showed up. Um, it's become predatory and dangerous. I've done everything I can to get to the bottom of it. This is Wonder Woman talking. I've seen things that would make your hair stand on end. And I know it's all connected. I'm in deep. Um, I'm over in over my head, but I've never thought about turning back. So, um, good, good stuff. Uh, Bobo kind of gives his, some of his backstory. He has become um, the Nightmaster or taken over the sword 
of the Night Master. He was apparently the original owner of the Oblivion Bar where they are, and there's this very special sword. Uh, you can see him uh, pull out of his coat right there. You can't see it there. You can see him looking at his own reflection in it right here. Um, so they're like, all right, Bobo's like, all right, I'll join. Let's let's go dig deeper. Then we go to the all of those magicians that are meeting in that house. You got Etrigan there. You got Dead Man, uh, Clarion, and Morgana. Like I said earlier, then there's some others. Um, looks like someone from Hell, and then uh, Zoriel, who is the, if memory serves, it is the uh, angel that left Heaven uh, back in. Grant Morrison's Justice League run right there on the shelf. Um, and then Zatanna's standing at the window trying to, you know, like, I don't really want to be here, but I need to be here. And she notices an eyeball on a plant. She's like, what's up with that? Um, so then we go to Justice League headquarters. Um, really cool dragon uh, uh, skeleton. Sorry, it's early in the morning. I can't think right now. I haven't had my coffee yet. Never film before you've had your coffee. Um, and so, Kirk Langstrom is there. Good old man bat. He's kind of more more man than bat right now. Of course, his head is all, all bat. So, they start talking. Um, they go look at all of the magicians that have been killed by their own magic. Very much reminds me of John Carpenter's The Thing. One of the best uh, creature horror films probably ever made right up there with the first alien great stuff then Zatanna goes to the that tree that got planted in no justice in Salem and she's like really oh she's oh I missed this when I first read it that potted plant she was looking at she actually throws it at Swamp Thing hopefully you can see that on the cover or on the page here she's like really you're using an eyeball and a potted plant to spy on us yelling at Swamp Thing great stuff and i like this how he kind of describes the situation um he says it's not a conversation i wish to be part of men like jason blood will attempt this strange will attempt to will i'm sorry this strange threat small enough to keep it in the satchel like please like they want it to be small like well it's it's fine it's fine just leave it over there it'll it'll work itself out then while wonder while heroes like wonder woman believe it can be punched into the light and he says i'm not certain either party is correct so again kind of setting some expectations and setting some stakes for for this series and then he says the the bridge or the the tree there in salem isn't it he says it's not the cause it's the bridge it's what's allowing this bad magic this bad juju to come in he says can you speak to it can you speak to the tree and he said it says it told me what you asked me to and it wishes to speak to you so the tree wants to speak to her and she gets a vision of her father zatara and says he says that this is only the beginning they're coming um this is what i trained you for ever since you were a child this is the end i feared would always come um the other kind can see you, my dear. You need to run. The upside down man is here. Uh, good stuff. And then we get a, like a brief glimpse of maybe the other kind or the out uh, the um the upside down man. And she's screaming. Her ears and her nose start to bleed. A classic sign of things are going wrong. Back in the um the autopsy room, the dead uh the dead uh, magicians come to life. Kirk Lamestrom goes full man back because he's got some serum handy um they're gonna start fighting and then that's when swamp thing and satana show up i guess they're on board now she says this is so much worse than anyone thought wonder woman magic is gonna die all of humanity is gonna go with it and one of us will bring about its destruction oh good stuff i love this issue i'm so glad you guys just you know told me it was good and that you guys are reading it um i'm i'm glad i finally got a chance to read it um uh, i love this issue you know whenever i read an issue one i want a couple of things i want it to establish a story that this uh ongoing series is going to tell at least initially i want to establish the characters i want to know where they are um i want the stakes for the story a little bit of background on what's going on and this book did all of that and more i loved it i do have let me find it here I do have issue two, which according to this is the first full appearance of the Upside Down Man. Um, I probably won't be able to get to, to review this for about a week. I am going out of town, but I will 
definitely be reading that next weekend. I'll have a full review for that here on the channel. Love and Justice League Dark. Cannot wait to get catch up to get caught up on it. I believe it's up to nine issues now, if memory serves, maybe ten. But I can't wait to catch all these up. Hopefully, my LCS has uh, the rest of the back issues. I've got issue three as well, so I'll have reviews for those up fairly soon. Guys, thank you so much for telling me to read Justice League Dark. I loved it. Are you guys still enjoying it? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here at the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. It would mean a lot. And until next time, we'll see you at the comic shop.